Hello, welcome to the Daily Devotion. I'm Kathy Morris, pastor of the Dixon United Methodist Church. Let us hear these words from our Bible reading for today from Psalm 46. God is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though its mountains tremble with tumult. Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in all the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. These words that come to us from the first through third verses and verses 10 and 11 of Psalm 46 have been a source of comfort and strength for people of faith for millennia, for thousands of years. That's an amazing thing to, to think about, that we have taken solace in these words through so many generations. We live in a world with constant change. It is unpredictable change as well. We feel shaken by events and circumstances. And we live in a world in which noise is unrelenting. I'm here at the Asilomar State Marine Refuge and, and for this daily devotion, I'm in the dunes. And it's really hard to believe that just the other side of this, this sand hill behind me is a sea that is roaring so loudly that it's hard to have a conversation. But here in the dunes, there is quiet. There is a stillness. The seashore is wild and beautiful. It is wonderful. And yet, nonetheless, we need quiet. We need stillness. We need both activity and stillness in our lives if we are to experience the intimate presence of God. The great Christian mystic of the 16th century, Teresa of Avila, she wrote this, Settle yourself in solitude, and you will come upon God in yourself. We don't all have access to, to sand dunes or to wild remote places where there's not very much noise going on. But something that we can do in which we can find that quiet and solitude is to go into a closet. Now I know that sounds very silly, but there is a great tradition of what is called the prayer closet. And then in the quiet and stillness of that place, May you feel the nearness of God. And as you feel the nearness of God, may that give you confidence and hope.